Mont Frogay National Park in northwest corner of Caceres Province. Very famous bird watching fauna, known for their black vultures. So after we settled in the small town, which is at the entrance, I stayed at the El Montfrog Rural Cottage. The next morning I started my hike. The trails are well, well marked, easy to follow. No need for a guide. This way you can go at your own pace. A lot of the park looks just like this. We do take a, uh, a drive through the park also to cover a lot more territory, but I think it's wonderful if you're traveling in a foreign country to get out, get away from the main tourist sites, if you will, and get into nature and see what the landscape looks like. Um, Spain is very complex. It's got oceans, almost oceans, on three sides of the peninsula, and it's got the Pyrenees Mountains in the north. So. Uh, this is referred to as a Mediterranean forest, which to me is more like Mediterranean desert. It's not exactly a forest out here, but I think they are trying to reestablish the original Mediterranean forest that, that did exist here. That's uh, wonderful me. Um, so it was a uh, hard-fought battle, if you will, to get this park established uh, and away from uh, the local ownership and control. I think it is it is a UNESCO uh, re recognized reserve. I think there are some unique species that make their home here, and I think that's helped to tip the scales to create a national park. I think the only private piece of the property uh, is is in the small town that's at the entrance to the park. It is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. A UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. Um, so there are two rivers, the Tagus and the Teatrar River come together. And there's also a dam, a embase in Spanish, so they control the amount of water that's in, in that lake. This gives you a nice... I mean, if you were at the Grand Canyon, you'd think, oh, how wonderful, there's no trees there. So this has got definitely its own own beauty. Also, by the way, you know, Mont Froguet, uh, uh, dubbed by the Romans, interpreted to mean the fractured mountain. I thought that was sort of interesting. Moan like mountain. Froguet, fractured. It didn't rain on me. It was, I was here in August, uh, August, September, and it was toasty. That's not a shirt on for, because I'm cold, it's a shirt on to keep the sun off of me. Dynamic clouds. Known for black stork, owls, vultures, golden eagles, mammals, otter, mongoose, wildcats, foxes, and others. This would be sort of a trailhead where there's a convergence of a number of trails. So the big deal here is this, this, the castle, Castillo de Montfroguet, Arab built in the 9th century. So remember, all of this was controlled uh, by Muslim rule for something like 800 years. So they would have picked tall spots um, to get a long view across the horizon to see if there are any marauders coming across. So this is probably, that's the castle. Uh, this is probably the m most interesting part of the park. And so here's these black... Uh, vultures. Um, so while I was walking, I, I heard about them, but I never saw them. At any rate, I'm walking up the trail and all of a sudden I hear this <laughs> 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 
It was a real eerie, very eerie sound. And I look up and I look around and then there's these huge vultures with their wingspan just spread out. And they're just cutting through the air. It was really very, very magnificent to watch. I mean, there has to be a bit of a thermal climb here where the birds have, uh, do not require a whole lot of uh, wing movement and just the updraft of the wind keeps them afloat. That's the black vulture. And again, this is the castle, the Castillo de Montfrogue. Now, a word that there is a paved road that leads up to it on the other side. We're coming up the hike, actually at the trailhead of the hike, uh, which takes about, I think, 30, 40 minutes maybe. Uh, very easy to find the trailhead, nicely, uh, easy parking. Um, but on the other side of this thing, there's a paved road that drives all the way up to the, almost to the bloody entrance to this, uh, to the castle. And so if you hit it at the wrong time, you're probably gonna be really inundated with people. So be prepared. Uh, fortunately, when I was here, there weren't, there, were, there weren't that many people. But it's a cool, cool little piece of rock. So the castle apparently goes by another name, Salto de San Carlos. I would suspect that maybe that was named after the Christians took over the region. Yeah, that's not a cave, I thought it was. So that's the road where buses will come up and drop off bukus of people and it's very well established to stare so it's easy for most people to make it. Can't remember if it was wheelchair friendly. No, I don't. Yeah, I think it, it may be. I don't think it is. So here's the black vultures. I mean, they are kind of wonderful to watch. I have to admit, there there's something real hypnotic about nature performing in such a way, in such a beautiful way. So you can walk around the castle, which is not really much of a castle. It's more like a lookout tower than anything. We're going to take a look inside here shortly. But it is a great. It does have great views to see 360 degrees all around the park. I'm not sure which river this is, whether that's the Tagus or the Tiatrar River. I would say because it's, uh, it's quite full, it probably does have a dam at that part of it. So this is the inside. Here's your castle. Not exactly a... It's, again, I, I'd say this is probably less of a castle and more of a watchtower. It's pretty well in shape, so it's hard to say how much of this is original. And again, I think that they have set this thing up for bird watchers. I mean, people come from all over. This is a, it's really a big deal to come here and watch birds for the unique bird watching that the area provides. Here's your birds, the vultures. I'm from Texas, so we have plenty of vultures, but uh, they're kind of ugly here, our turkey vultures. But there's something uh, very graceful about these guys. I never did see an eagle, but I kept looking. So after the castle tour, there's a few driving tours that you can make. They have some very nice uh, lookouts, viewpoints, if you will. I mean, one has to spend a little bit of time to explore regions like this.
So the only private property in the park is this t little town. I stayed here, word of caution, so I had some guests that were down below and they were at night and they were just drinking beer and my room was up in the upper left corner and you could hear the entire noise, so um, uh, visitor center, it's a very nice little visitor center. That concludes our trip. Thank you for watching.